Hello and welcome back to Mars. I'm Mick. We're playing Stationers. Now today we're going to be doing a bit more health and safety work. Because uh, health and safety is very important. Today we're going to have another shot of programming our suit. Now we have done it before. We've had a bit of a go where it will automatically close the visor based on um, the uh, temperature and pressure. Uh, but that's not enough anymore. I want to do a bit more. There's much more capabilities that the suit has. Uh, now that the weather systems do actually damage you quite badly if you accidentally open your visor. I want to be able to lock the visor as well. Um, we want to do a few more tests on the environment and make sure we can close it. We want to see if we can do some items there to conserve our, uh, our filters. And we may even see if we can put in a navigation system. So. What we're going to do will be a two chip build for this one. So I'll need a base station and I will need a chip in the suit and um, we'll see how we go. All right, so previous ones I have had, uh, yep, you go away. Uh, we have in the suit, um, where are we? Import. Right. We have the old one there, which we really don't want anymore. So we'll just pretty much clear that off. Basically, all we really want to know is how to set it up. So the suit is called the DB housing. The helmet is D0. The backpack is D1. But the rest of it we can just completely get rid of. Uh, right. So suit, helmet, backpack. There we go. Oh, I already spelled it wrong. Alias the uh, suit to uh, DB alias the helmet to D0 alias the backpack. I've never actually used the backpack, but uh, we'll put it in there just because we can. Right, so they're your basic ones there. Now, uh, that's all we keep there so far. Now, we can set this up have a look at our suit and see what we can actually do with it. Um, so I shall need a screwdriver so I can set you up to be uh, uh, where are we? Hard suit. That must be me. Now if I take my uh, logic there, yep, so we can see the Position X, position Y, moving around. If I can get that to work for me, try again. There we go. So we can see that's, that's connected to my suit because my X and Y positions are moving around. Uh, we have other things like the, the pressure, pressure external. So we have an internal and external pressure there. We have a ratio carbon dioxide. We've got these ones here. Um, now we've had some talk about that one, arguments as to whether that's an internal or external one. So we'll do some experiments on that one and find out. We have our setting, which is our new value, which has been added in one of the recent updates there. So we can actually send information back to the suit from a base station. Uh, once again, you've got temperature, temperature external and velocities and whatever else. Well, those ones probably won't be too interesting to, to us at the moment. Um, but the atmospherics ones, the temperature things will, the setting we will use, and we'll see how we go. Right, um, so I suppose first up, with our pressure external and internal, we have the, the mix of uh, gases there. That's basically the mix that I've got in the base there. My visor's open, you expect them to be the same. If I close my visor, uh, we see they start to change now. Now if we look at this, all the carbon dioxide has gone because there's a carbon dioxide filter in there. If I put a nitrogen filter in there as well, the nitrogen should disappear as well. It's just got oxygen. So those ones there are definitely what's inside the suit. Which kind of makes sense is because the meat bag inside the suit is what you want to keep alive. So that's what you've got to monitor. But while the visor is open, we do know that there is actually the ability to look at the atmosphere so we can look at we can check those ones so as if you walk into a room that has toxins in it we can close the close the visor uh, but getting ahead of ourselves so let's first thing we do we have a pressure and temperature external we can just easily check them 
so what you put it set on them will depend on you know what you want what, what your base conditions are is what to as to what you deem deem suitable on mars i generally put 50 kilopascals in as my base pressure uh, it's what the suit uses so that's fine so we shall uh, define uh, safe as a register and we'll give that to R10 because we can. Uh, so now we need to do the checks to make sure that the uh, atmosphere is safe. So we shall uh, start and a, a yield. Now we can check the temperature. So load into R0 the uh, suit temperature external Oop. right now we need to check whether or not it's too hot or too cold so it is safe if it is above zero uh, so set uh, set greater than so uh, safe we shall set the variable first time I've used it so we shall set start by setting it directly in the first one there so if the uh, temperature is greater than 0 273 uh, it's safe right so we want to say set we want to say it's safe if it's less than say 50 degrees so we don't want to use safe again or we'll overwrite it so we'll have to use R1 if the temperature is less than uh, 323 50 degrees and we'll just combine the two values with an and uh, which will be U V and R1 all right so we've checked if the temperature is too hot and too or too cold uh, so yep that works so now we can load into R0 the suit with the uh, pressure external. Uh, now we'll say we want to have a minimum pressure, so we shall say set greater than, uh, so set R1 if the pressure is greater than, say, 45. So we'll have a minimum of 45 that we're allowed to have. And we shall once again combine that into our safe variable. And we shall set less than, uh, say, 150. Set R1 if R0 is less than 150. And combine that back into our variable again. So if it passes all those tests, safe should be 1. Which means we can open our visor. So we can save the hell heck hecklomet hell met try again go go a bit slower met <laughs> open safe uh, right and should we just be jump back to the start again right confirm you export Uh, that's not doing anything. What have I done wrong? Okay, let's try an alias there. That might work a little bit better. Firm export. Right. That forces it open because it's safe. I probably won't want it to do that, but uh, for the sake of testing, we should go into the airlock, and if the pressure drops below 40, 45, the visor should close, which it does. Oxygen. That's fine, we're all good. So now, fine if I try and open my helmet, it'll lock it again. Right, so that works. Now, I don't want it to open automatically, so we shall change the way that works. And it'd be nice if it actually locks it so I can't accidentally open it once we try doing that. So uh, we shall make a couple of adjustments and we shall fix that up. Right, so it's automatically opened it for me. That's not what I want. 
So what I can do is I can just put in a check there uh, to say if it's if it's closed, we skip that line. So we shall uh, load into R zero uh, from the helmet open. So if it's equal to zero, branch relative equal to zero. Uh, so if R zero the helmet is closed, don't open it. Um, so I skip the next line. Oop. But if it is open, close it. Uh, right, now we want to lock it. Uh, so when we want to close it, so if it's unsafe, we close it, zero. But lock has to go to one, which is the opposite. Uh, so from there we shall say uh, uh, set equal to zero. Uh, oh, we might just set set R zero. Set R zero if safe. Yeah, so safe is unsafe. Set R zero to one. So we've closed the helmet with zero. Set that to one. So save helmet helmet lock to R zero. Right, so it's just confusing as hell because you've got to set one to open and zero to lock, or vice versa. Uh, right, but we've locked it now. Now, with that one, we want to do either way. So when it comes to a safe area, it will always unlock it. So we don't want to branch, we don't want to jump over that line. We want to always do that line. So just unlock it once you get to a safe area, but it won't open it. Right, so that's where we want to be. So confirm that one. Um, if it works. Export. Uh, I can do that. It's currently flashing an error. Now, oh, incorrect line typing at eight. Oh, it's just because you don't want to know what a suit is, right? Uh, we're good. Right, so now if I go into an unsafe space. You should be able to see from our helmet that it will go to lock. Oxygen. It's closed it. Oxygen. Now it's locked. So I can't open it now. That's what we want. I can't accidentally open it and hurt myself. Once we come back to a breathable atmosphere, it should unlock it, but not open it. So if we keep an eye on that one there, as we get back to 45 kilopascals. Yeah, I'll just open it. There we go. So it's unlocked the helmet, but it hasn't opened it. So I can now manually open it. Right. That is the way we want it to behave. Now, when it is, when our visor is closed, we can also shut off our air, our filters, and all that sort of stuff there. Because when the helmet's open, we're obviously in a safe spot and we don't need them. So, uh, once again, if uh, safe is equal to zero, um, or if safe is equal to one, it's safe, we can switch all them off. So it'll be the same as the, as the uh, lock command. So if we've locked it to one, we've got to switch, well, I've, now we might just do it when we open everything. So uh, we shall need to say, uh, we'll once again, do it into here. Yeah, load, basically that line again. So if we copy that, put you into there, or I could just put that all up here. No, I won't. Right, so if it's open, uh, right, so now I want to reverse that. So set uh, equal to zero. So if it's open, one, we can switch everything off. So we've got to reverse it. So set R zero to the other way around. And we can save our suit. Uh, what are they called? Uh, F1. Uh, hard suit. 
So we want to set our um, air release filtration and other one. There's a third one somewhere. Air release filtration and just on, is it? Okay. Uh, say suit. Yeah. Air release uh, to uh, zero. Save uh, suit filtration to, uh, to R0 and save suit on to R0. Confirm. Boop. Export. Put you in there. Right, so they've all switched off because my visor is open. If I close it, they should all switch back on again. So now it won't use any of my air, won't use my power, won't use my filters while the visor is open. So that'll extend the filter life on those a bit more. Uh, right. So that's uh, a lot of the health and safety done. Now, we can also, uh, as we saw for the uh, bit over there, we can check for um, pollutants and if we get this thing to work, yep, right, now we can check for, um, we can check for, what was that, nitrous oxide, uh, pollutant and volatiles, they're the ones we're really worried about, because uh, we've got a tank of oxygen, it should always fill up oxygen, it should always filter out the CO2, because we should have carbon CO2 filters in there, if we don't have them in there we're in trouble. Uh, so we can shut our suit when we have dangerous ones. Now, so you, if you're on Vulcan, you should always keep a hydrogen filter in your suit because um, well, you've got an atmosphere of hydrogen. So if you accidentally get that in there, you want to be able to get it out. Uh, so we can check for them and close the visor when we find them there. Of course, once we've closed the visor, we won't be able to have any way of checking whether they're gone or not. So we don't want to be locking the visor when uh, we have those in there. So uh, we might want to do that one a little bit different. So um, how are we going to do that? We might have to have another one for uh, for locking. Or we can just do them at the start. Right, so if we put them at the start, uh, and these ones will just decide whether or not we shall uh, close it. And then we shall redefine the safe down here. And that will decide whether or not we're going to lock it. Yes, we can do that. So if we load into R0 from the suit, uh, what's it, ratio uh, um, volatiles. A tiles. Right. Um, so, what we say? What's the toxic level of volatiles? I can't remember now. Is it five percent? Uh, we'll go with two percent. Um, so we shall set. Uh, we've got to say set less than. When is it safe? Set less than. Uh, so set safe if R0 is less than 2%. Right, and we can do the same for uh, nitrous and pollutants. So we should want, if they copy you, well, there and there for ratio uh, P. Pollutant, not an S, and nitrous. Nitrous oxide. Oops. Uh, there we go. 
So once again, uh, set less than, uh, set less than, uh, we'll have to use R1 because we want to combine it. Uh, if that is less than, once again, 0.02 and, and safe, safe and R1. And we can just copy those ones again to there and there. Um, yeah, how am I going to test that? Uh, I can't. So, uh, so safe, safe. Uh, so once again, if it's unsafe, so we want to close our helmet here. So we want to do that, that step again, because we're going to redefine safe down here and decide whether or not we should lock it. Uh, so we shall need to put you up here, you there, and you there. So if those ones are any of those ones are bad, we close the helmet if it's open, or we leave it closed. Uh, and then we go start again with a new new suit value, and we'll decide whether or not we want to lock it. Um, because if we close, if we lock it from there we have no way of deciding whether or not it's safe to open it again, so we won't do that. Uh, so the locking just comes from this sec second half of it here. All right, confirm. Export. Uh, better put the chip in there, that might help. Put you in there. Export that. And uh, is it still working? It is still working. I'll have to get a tank of hydrogen and let it out in the airlock or something and test that one. Uh, right. But that should be good for now. So um, the next thing I want to do is actually create a base station for it. So as I can actually send, send um, a signal to it because I want to uh, keep a track of where I am and give me, give, calculate a direction home. So I'll be able to send that signal out to the suit and it will then have a way of telling me which way to go back even if I don't have my tracker and don't have a beacon. Uh, right, so um, I shall need another chip for that one. That's handy. Um, so, clear that one. So for this one I shall need the tracker uh, to D0 and I shall put the uh, display on as well just for debugging purposes right now I'd also put a weather alarm on there but I don't have one hooked up but we'll put, come to that later uh, right so I shall need to know where my home position is uh, so home X and uh, fine home Z confirm export now I shall need to know where I am so do need you need you my GPS so I stand about in the middle of the room here so this is my home uh, minus 16 minus 11 Right, so we are minus 16 and minus 11. So that's our home location. Uh, so uh, start yield. So we can load. It's not a tracker, it's a suit. Well, let's call it a transmitter to avoid confusion on this one, Sally. Uh, so we shall lo load into our zero from the transmitter. Uh, position X. Uh, yep, and shall load into R1. Let's actually just give ourselves some variables, shall we? Uh, 
Then I guess uh, pos x pos x uh, to r10 and alias pos oh come on pos z to r11. Right, so we shall load into uh, pos x and pos z uh, transmitter position z. Of course, the y position is just your vertical one, so you don't really need to know that. Uh, now, so that's our positions are where we are. If we want to know where we are relative to this, we have to um, subtract that position minus the current position will give us uh, where we are. So if the current position is minus 15, then we've travelled one. Uh, so it must be the current position minus the original position. Yeah. So uh, sub uh, plus x. Oh, my brain's just not going to do that. Pos x uh, is that minus the original position, isn't it? Pos x minus omx. And pos z equals pos z minus home z. Right, so that should give us our distance relative to that one there. Okay, so now if we take those two coordinates, we should then be able to calculate a heading of where we've gone. So uh, if we say our new new command there, we got one of the last updates. Um, so arctan2. Uh, Let's have a heading. Heading will be R12. Right. So the heading from uh, pos need to Z first, don't we? Pos X. Uh, save to the display setting uh, heading and jump to the start. Export. No, you don't like that. Number 12. Oh, because I haven't set the things up, you fool. Okay, so you'll need to be a transmitter. Logic transmitter and you are the display. There we go. We're working? Right. So now as I move around that spot, that measurement is in radians. Right, uh, so... Uh, so we divide by pi, multiply by 180. Uh, divide heading equals heading divided by 3.14 and uh, multiply heading heading uh, 180. Confirm, export. That's looking better. So now as I move around this point, it should uh, give us a number to write between 180 and minus 180. Right, but as I move around that point where we set a zero, we're getting an angle which gives it relative to that point. So now, if we look at our heading, it is currently 128, uh, 145. Oh, so that's going, that's increasing the wrong way. Uh, of course, it's a Cartesian angle, not a, a bearing. Uh, so we shall need to make that negative. 
and we'll need to turn it around because we want the heading back not the heading we're facing away so we shall do both we shall say uh, sub um, so the heading equals 180 minus the heading so that will make that negative because we're subtracting it and we'll take off 180 uh, so it's either minus 180 minus that, which takes it 360. So it's between numbers. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. So it's a number between 0 and uh, 360 now. Right. And as we're going around, 1, 2, 3. Right. So it is facing 90 degrees there. As we can see, our heading here is 90 degrees, or approximately move around to here we are facing back to wherever that spot was that's approximately 170 which we've got down here and if we come around to here we should be 250 which is about what we've got so that figure is now giving us a bearing back to the home coordinates that we've set there which is wonderful so now I can save that to the setting of the suit and the suit will now know what the angle is that I've got to go to go home which is wonderful but how does the suit actually show it um, so we shall save the uh, oops save to the transmitter setting um, uh, heading confirm Wonderful. Now I've got it in the suit and I can't see it. Uh, so I shall need to uh, modify the suit code now to be able to see it. Um, and that computer's busy. Uh, I should have a laptop around here somewhere. Okay, that's all right. I have another computer just over here. Right, so um, where's our suit? Oops. Right, so we can use this one here, import, edit. So, um, right, some, some of the things we can do is we do have our settings. So if I close my visor, we do actually have our target temperatures and pressures here. So now we should be able to flick them off uh, so if I flick, flick all them off, they don't change too much, or the pressure is changing a little bit, the temperature fluctuates, but we're in a warm room here. If you're on uh, Vulcan or Venus or Europa, the, turning the temperature off might be a little bit hazardous. So we might try the pressure. So the trick is we'll just flick that off and um, change the pressure setting if it goes up that high and then reset the pressure back to the 50 and um, and that should do us uh, whoop, I'd better switch them back on again hadn't I <laughs> or open my visor even now so we should have a so I have to switch off all of them and then set the the um, What's it called? The target pressure, temperature, pressure, um, or oh, temperature setting. We've probably got a pressure setting there too, then, have we? Uh, pressure setting, okay. I put a lot of thought into that. What else would you call the pressure setting? Um, right. So we have we have all that there now, so we can continue on because the code goes all the way through every time. So uh, from here we want to decide. Well, basically now I guess if we say if the helmet is open, uh, you're in a safe spot and you won't need to know your way home. So uh, let's just skip back to the start if your helmet's open. 
so there, if the helmet is open, true, uh, they set it to zero if it's open. So we can just say here, branch um, equal to zero. So if the helmet is open, um, jump back to the start. You don't need to do any more. So what we do here now is only if your helmet is closed. So, um, so from here we shall need to uh, switch all them off and display the setting. Right, so I shall copy them and copy you. Uh, I shall need to switch you to off. Uh, I shall um, save suit uh, pressure setting. I'll need to load what it is first, won't I? Uh, load into R0 suit setting. So R0 will be the bearing. Uh, save suit pressure zeroing R0. I shall yield for a game tick and then we shall put you back on again uh, switch you back on again and go back to start where will hit another yield and stay on for a game tick Okay, that should be good. So if I export that, put you back into here. My helmet is open, so it shouldn't be doing anything. That's right. If I close my helmet, oh, okay, that's not good. My pressure is going out of control there. Oh, because I didn't set it back to 50, you moron. <laughs> Yep, same suit pressure setting uh, 50. That might be a little bit smarter. Right. Why am I being my own guinea pig for my health and safety stuff? Right. Right, so 206. Occasionally getting a zero in there, that's a little bit odd. 50. 96. 68. 38. That's working. We're good. You see our filtration and everything. Oh, I probably don't want to switch my AC. Because the air in the filter. Right, okay. Um, so, uh, let's get you. Uh, let's not do that one. It's just the air release and the filtration. Uh, Those zero readings are a bit strange, but we got them in there. And that is giving us a reading home. Now, we probably don't want that on all the time. So if I, um, how would I switch that off? If I change my suit temperature, if I change that to 19, that starts. If I switch it back to 20, that'll stop. Um, that constant on off of the machine is a little bit annoying. Um, switch you on. Uh, right. So, how am I going to do that? I suppose we can just 
get out of there early, can't I? So, uh, so sh I shall uh, load into R0 from the suit the uh, temperature the URE setting and we shall set a less than so set or oh, branch branch less than so if the temperature is uh, less than 20 degrees uh, Kelvin uh, so 290 290.1 to the air so so if the temperature is less than uh, 293 jump back to the start we don't want you to do this bit otherwise carry on and do that Confirm, export right so if I close my visor how are you going to do it did I go that back with front did I Let's well, not don't get that completely wrong. Uh, right. The suit temperature setting. Um, What did I get wrong there? Oh, okay. Yeah, 19. 20, it starts again. Oh, I've got it back to front. Haha. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, let's try greater than. Uh, export. Right. Now 20 degrees it's doing nothing. Drop the temperature down and it starts giving me a bearing home. Right. That is good. That's what we want it to do. Um, right. Now I have a storm alarm on my base. I would like to be able to send that out uh, to the suit as well so it can trigger an alarm there um, but I've only got one setting so uh, let's uh, I'm not going to wait for an alarm so uh, let's see if we can find our own alarm that'll do us uh, we'll call you the alarm so you can go into a lever uh, and it should be oh, yes. alarm D2. Right, so we shall just use a bit of data encoding on that one. Uh, we shall load into R1 the alarm setting I shall save to uh, save to no I don't do I want to multiply it because uh, we've already got a three digit number coming in for the heading so if we multiply the alarm by 1000 and then add Add to the heading. Uh, heading, heading, and R1. Confirm, export you. Right, we have our heading. If I put my alarm on, it does nothing. Just crashes, does it? No. Oh, because that's put it down there. Don't know there's displays here, you fool. <laughs> uh, 
Right, that might work better. Export now. Now we've got the alarm on there. So switch it off, we've just got the straight three digit angle. We've got the thousand there with the angle on the other side of it. Right. That's making a bit more sense. So the alarm's on, we have a number over a thousand, with the first digit being the alarm. If it's under a thousand, then there is no alarm, it is just a heading home. But if I have my soap pressure press turned down, um, I can switch that alarm on and off and I won't see the alarm. So I've got to have a different way of treating the alarm just in case I'm not reading my heading. So uh, once again, if your helmet is closed, you're in a safe space, the alarm's probably not that relevant to you. You'll have other alarms with lights and flashing crap all over the place. So what I want to do is, well, I really want something that'll get my attention there. So having a little number flashing up in the corner is not that attention grabbing. So uh, I might just go with a flashing headlight. Uh, right. So back to the suit. Um, so now, once we get down here, if our helmet is open, don't do any more. Uh, checks the temperature setting and runs away. So we want to do it before it starts running away and doing other things, before it does that. So, um, uh, so that will be the uh, heading display. So now we want to put in here the alarm. Right, so we shall... Uh, I shall probably put another tag down here for the uh, heading. Oh, we'll call that there. So um, I shall. Uh, uh, so we shall have to the setting. So uh, load into R0 suit uh, setting. Now I can mod mod uh, R0 for 1000. So that's not what I want. Uh, I shall divide it. Uh, divide that. Oh, I don't even need to do that. I need to just check if it's above a thousand, isn't it? Uh, so we shall set less than, if it's less than a thousand, there is no alarm. Let's try again. <laughs> we shall branch if it's less than. Uh, so it's less than a thousand, there's no alarm, we don't need to do anything else here. So we shall branch if it's less than uh, 1000. Uh, go straight to the heading part of it. Right, so there's no alarm, just scoot straight down there. Now, if there is an alarm, uh, we should want to flash the headlight. If it's off, we want to flash it on. If it's on, we want to flash it off. We'll put it back on again as quick as we can. So we shall say uh, load into R0 uh, helmet on. And we shall set uh, equal to 0. Right, so if it's on, switch it off, if it's off, switch it on. And we shall uh, save to helmet on uh, zero. We shall uh, yield for a tick and do the same thing again. Uh, and yield for another tick. Right. So all we've done here, we check if there's a no alarm, just skip skip over this section. If there is an alarm, we want to check if the light's on, then we'll flick it off, flick it, wait a bit, flick it back on again, and off we go. Or vice versa, it's off, flash it on, then flash it off again. Uh, so that should be all it is. Confirm. Uh, where are we? You. Export. Right. Um, we're still working. 
I have my helmet closed. Why aren't you flashing? Setting. What have I forgotten? It's crashed. It's not working. Okay, what have I done wrong? It's an annoying thing. It doesn't tell you when there's an error. All I can do is open my visor and see that that's not changing as it should be. So I have made an error somewhere. And it's not going to tell me where. Uh, oh, there it is. <laughs> Uh, branch less than if R zero is less than a thousand. Confirm export and there we go. So it's just giving me a flash. If I open my helmet, that should stop happening. If I switch my light on close my helmet again it just does a quick flash off and leaves me with my light most of the time so it's not leaving me in dark the whole time if I switch you off it stops flashing if you on I've got an alarm there's my alarm warning uh, if I put my temperature down uh, where are we? temperature down Oh, okay, that's actually giving me the full the full thing there, so um, I shall need to fix that angle. Uh, edit. So, uh, where are we? You, you, you. Load the suit setting. Uh, you go down to the heading. Load suit setting, we shall uh, then uh, mod R0 is R0 mod 1000. So we divide by 1000 and just keep the remainder. So that will um, basically, if it's over 1000, just keep whatever's left. So there we go. Uh, close the visor. We can switch the alarm off. Thank you very much. Now it still has a bearing coming up. If I switch that back on, I should still have just the three digit bearing. 179, there we go. Even though we've still got the alarm, it's 179 coming in. We're good. We're good. So now if I temperature up, it should switch that off. Uh, oh, temperature up to 20 and it switches it off. That's it. I switch the alarm on. I should still have the alarm going. That's good. Right. So there we go. I can hook that up to my storm alarm and give me a warning when there's a storm. If I'm outside, the light will start flashing and tell me there's a storm coming. Uh, and if I don't have my uh, beacon switched on or I've forgotten to bring my tracker with me, I now can have my... Just turn down my temperature. And I now have the direction back home again. Awesome. Health and safety extreme. Uh, now I should never be able to, well, I should never be able to get lost. Uh, but um, I'm talented in that way, so uh, I probably will still. Uh, once again, if the visor is open, we're in a safe spot. We don't need any of that crap there. <laughs> Although I, I, I could probably still get lost in my own base. Um, my sense of direction is that bad. Uh, but um, yeah, health and safety done. I should be very, very safe now. Um, so that's on this. So once again, there's two chips. So we've got one for the base. Um, once again, that can be monitoring any sort of alarm that you want. You probably don't want to send every single alarm to your device. That'll just drive you bananas. But you can. That's all up to you. Um, so you'll need the, the two chips, one for the suit, one for the base. The base will be connected to the uh, logic transmitter and the logic transmitter shall be um, hooked to your suit. Uh, was there anything else in there? Oh, I hate these things. Work. Damn you. Oh, where'd that go? Come here. Right. Was there anything else we can use in there? Your position. Pressures, external, internal. Uh, I think it's about all we can do. Well, you could probably put in a, 
a speed limiter if you really wanted to, but where's the fun in that? I mean, it's health and safety. It's not complete boring. Um, yeah, well, I guess that'll do us. That's, uh, I have improved the suit. I have given it some more functionality, and um, I'm pretty happy with that. So, uh, until next time, happy building. See ya.